Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo and today we'll talk about a brand new feature that's been added into the gallery in terms of editing photos and that is the ability of changing a regular everyday photo into portrait mode. So you can see here that nothing has popped up on the bottom that is telling you that you can change the background effect. Now let's say you take a look at this picture here, change background effect. Take a look at this picture here, change background effect. So basically all that means is that when you went inside of your camera, and you wanted to take a photo, instead of you being inside of this photo option, you are inside of portrait. Now portrait gives you that ability to change the background if you want it to kind of be a regular blur, if you want it to be studio, you know, mono, low-key mono, backdrop, there's a lot of things you're able to do inside of the portrait mode itself. Most people just keep it on blur just so it's very simple, has a really good effect in the background. But let's say that you took a picture with the regular photo, but you wanted to turn it into a picture that has this background effect. So you can see here just how dynamic and how much depth is going on with these two photos. There's nothing happening here, just a regular everyday photo. So how you can change this into a portrait photo is you just wanna go right, you know, right from this image here, click on the very bottom right-hand side, these three little dots. This is where you go to add portrait effect. It is that simple. So basically you are now able to add in this blur effect on a photo that wasn't even originally set up to get this done and it actually comes out looking really, really good. When you take a look at the lines, you know, just around everything with the shirt, also especially with the hair. So the hair is a really big indicator on if it's doing a good job or bad job. So you can see that it's not the cleanest thing, but when you take a look at just the regular photo itself of what it looks like, it did a really, really good job for a photo that wasn't even set up to do this. And then actually on the very top right hand side, you can see the word portrait. So it kind of put it into this little portrait mode when it's kind of funny that this op this photo right here and this photo right here, these ones were physically taken inside of the portrait mode, but they actually don't state that. So that just means that you turned this photo into portrait. And if you want this one to go back to the original image, uh, you're actually able to revert it back if you want to. So this one does look really good. When I go inside of add portrait effect, you can have it, you know, at the default of five, you can go up to seven. So you can change how much of this effect you want to happen. So I'm going to leave it at five. You know, we'll keep it at the number that it originally stated. So now let's go back into my first photo over here. So this is another image you can see here i cannot change the background effect you know sitting right here so this is another one of those that was taken in a regular auto mode i was technically taking this photo because i wanted to show off that you're able to erase uh shadows so i wanted to see if it would erase a shadow off of my face because it was you know being taken and, and created from the sun but again here's that add portrait effect this is another image again not meant to be in portrait but here we are, you're able to make this thing into a really good portrait shot. And this was with the front facing camera. Uh, and, and it's, uh, yeah, I, I guess let me know in the comment section below if you think it did a really good job uh, for which I think it did. I mean, he's a really good, handsome man, set, you know, standing right there. But also, too, the lines around it, the depth that it created when it wasn't supposed to be there is just fantastic. So let me know in the comment section below. Do you see this option here in terms of uh, uh, portrait effect? Is this something that is on your phone if you don't have the Galaxy S22? For some reason, my other devices, I don't think I see the add portrait effect sitting there. So let me know in the comment section below. And also, too, what do you think of this brand new feature? Do you think it's clutch? Because I think it's really, really cool because you're just taking a regular shot and now it's now a portrait shot. So again, if you guys appreciated this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.